Right now, we can see the security update is installed. Here you may see, complete. This is great news. Hello everybody, you are on Andre Mihalovi channel. Today, I'm going to find out, will Windows 11 22H2 version work stable on unsupported laptop and get all important updates? I hope this video will be useful for many people. But first, I want to thank our sponsors. Keysfan Software Black Friday deal is live, limited offer. These are original and safe software that you can use not only at home, but also in studying or in the office, or to speed up or clean your PC. Special offer, 50% off for all Windows series and 66% off for part MS Office series products. Apply coupon GD50 for Windows and GD66 for Office 2021-2019. All links will be in the video description. Let's get back to our video. Today I'm going to update my Lenovo ThinkPad since 2013 from Windows 10 to Windows 11. I'm going to show you how to install Windows 11 and bypass all Windows 11 system requirements, including TPM 2.0 and the specs of the processor. After that, I will go to the updates and try to install all necessary important updates. Also, after installation, I will check if this device works correctly. I mean touchpad, keyboard, camera, microphone, Bluetooth, etc. Because after installation, some people have problem with drivers. One time I want to remind you that this is Lenovo ThinkPad L430. This device since 2013, it has Intel Core i3 processor, 8 GB of RAM and SSD drive. So guys, I'm making this video just to show you how this device will work on Windows 11 because probably many of you have unsupported computers, unsupported laptops and you are very interested about the fact will your device work correctly. So let's get it started. Ok guys, we are in the Windows and right now I will show you that my laptop runs on Windows 10 Pro. Also, you can see specification of the laptop. Ok, let's close this window. So, right now we need to open our browser. In my case, it's Google Chrome. Then we need to type next. Windows 11 and press Enter. Here you may see Microsoft official website download Windows 11. Click here. So we are on the Microsoft official website. Here you may see Windows 11 2022 update version 22H2. Scroll down a little bit. Here we see download Windows 11 disk image ISO. Click here and select Windows 11 multi edition ISO. After that, click on download. Wait a few minutes. Now we have opportunity to select the language. So for the example, I will select English, but you can select another language that suits you the best. After that, click confirm. And voila, we have option to download Windows 11 ISO file. Click here and wait until Windows 11 will be downloaded on our laptop or computer. So guys, as you can see, I already downloaded the Windows 11 ISO file and right now I'm going to open it just to show you that my laptop doesn't support Windows 11. Click on setup. So guys, as you can see, my laptop doesn't support Windows 11. This PC doesn't currently meet Windows 11 system requirements. This processor isn't support for this version of Windows. The PC must support TPM 2.0. The PC must support secure boot. So now we can close this window. Now I'm going to show you how to bypass Windows 11 system requirements. Click here and copy this link. Link will be in the video description. Go to our browser and paste link here. Now you may see a Windows 11 text document, so we need to download it on our laptop or computer. Click here and wait until the text document will be downloaded. Ok, now we can close this window. So guys, to make it more convenient, I will move this to file on my desktop. So guys, now we need to open our text document. Click on it. Now please pay attention because this is very important stage. We need to click here, file. After that, select save as. Now you may see text, Windows 11. We need to type next, dot cmd. After that, we need to click here and select all files. 
Then we need to save this file and pay attention. This file appeared on our desktop. Click on the right mouse button and click here, run as administrator. You do not need to press any button, just wait until the process will end. As I previously said, you just need to wait. Don't press any button. And that's all. Actually, we activate Windows. So we can delete this file and let's another time run Windows ISO file. Click on it, open, select setup. So right now you just need wait a few minutes. After you see this window, I recommend to click here, not right now, to not get new updates. Believe me, it will be better for your device. Then click next. And voila, we can install Windows 11 on our laptop without any problem. Right now, I will stop screen record and record video from my smartphone LG G8X, because a laptop will restart and probably you will not see anything. Click accept. So guys, now you may see that you have option to keep all your files and all your data. But as you can see, this option is unavailable. And that's mean when we install Windows 11, we need to reinstall all program that was installed on Windows 10. Keep personal file only. So after laptop will restart, you will have all your files and all your data. But I'm warning you. If you have chance, please save your file to another hard drive. For example, I have this hard drive and SATA adapter, so I just connect it to the laptop and copy all necessary important information on it. Or if you don't have a lot of files, you can use USB stick. Or if you even don't have a hard drive and USB stick, you can upload all information on Google Disk. For the example, because it's your personal data, it's important information and you definitely don't want to lose anything okay for the example i will select keep personal file only and then click next here you may see install windows 11 pro keep personal file only now i'm going to click install and i need to wait until windows 11 will be installed on my computer it can be about 20 or 15 minutes it all depends on your hardware let's click install after Windows 11 will be installed on this device, I'm going to check will this laptop have opportunity to get the newest updates. Finally, laptop restart and now I can see this message. You can uncheck all these options and click next. Accept. Okay guys, we are in the Windows 11. So let's check can we get system updates. Go to the settings full screen, Windows update, check for updates, oh sorry sorry, first let's connect to the internet, no problem, hello kitty, I hope it will get all necessary important updates. But definitely, if you have unsupported laptop, don't be surprised if you cannot get all updates. Retreat. Checking for updates. So guys, as you can see, downloading process begin. But I think it will be better if I wait a few minutes and show you the final result. Right now, we can see the security update is installed. Here you may see, complete. This is great news. As you can see, all updates are installed except this one, but we just need to restart the computer. Probably this is installation of the last update. So friends, as you can see, we have all necessary important updates. So another time I will click check for updates. After I check for new update, it available to new update. And as you can see, one update is already installed. And here you may see message completed. And the second update only downloading on our computer. I installed the last two updates. And another time, let's check for updates. And voila, I install all Windows 11 updates on this Lenovo ThinkPad laptop. So if you have a question, can you install security update or other update on unsupported laptop? Yes, you can. But it all depends on your device. Now I'm going to go to the device manager to be sure that all drivers are installed. Device. Oh, we already see device manager. Click on it. 
So guys, as you can see, I do not do anything. Windows 11 already installed all drivers and actually I'm very surprised because all drivers are installed without any problem. I know you think it's funny, but I will test touchpad. So touchpad works without any problem and also keys work without any problem. Right now I'm going to test speakers of the laptop. So I recommend to go to my YouTube channel. Oh, who is this popular guy? I recommend to watch this video till the end because you will decide for yourself. Do you really need to buy a Chromebook? Okay, I think it will be more than enough. As you can see, speakers work quite well without any problem. And also I like this guy. Camera work without any problem. Right now I'm going to record video just to check if microphone works well. Hello everybody, you are on Andrea Mihailova channel. Today I'm going to install Windows 11 on unsupported laptop, Lenovo ThinkPad. I think it will be more than enough. As you can see, for some reason, I can't hurt anything. But let's give second chance Windows 11 and record sound using audio recorder or voice recorder. Voice recorder need an update. Okay. Hello, everybody. You are on the Dream Hello channel. And today, okay, it will be more than enough. For some reason, I can't hear anything. It's the second test and as you can see, we have problem with audio. And as you can see, we have drivers since 2013. So let's try to update our drivers. We go another time to Windows update. Actually, this is awful result if we're talking about microphone because microphone simply doesn't work. You may see the first issue in Windows 11. And to be honest, this is not the first time when I saw this issue because previously I installed Windows 11 on laptop Lenovo IdeaPod since 2015 and it has the same issue. The camera works, but the microphone doesn't work. Let's check how Bluetooth work on this device. I have headphones, so I will turn them on. Definitely it seems great because Bluetooth is here. Add Bluetooth device. As you can see Bluetooth is enabled, so we can click add device and try to find our headphones. Try to connect in. Another time we are on YouTube. And here you can see my channel. It's time for you to know about the best Android emulator on earth. Headphones work without any problem. I installed Windows 11 on this unsupported laptop and as you can see almost all feature works. I get updates but microphone doesn't work. And definitely Lenovo not going to make special driver for this old device. And to be honest, I do not use laptop's microphone because I have this microphone Razer Serial Mini. Previously, you may see that I record video using this mic. So if you have some issues and trouble in Windows 11 and you definitely understand that you're not ready to use it, you can go back to Windows 10, but you have only 10 days. Click here, click on the settings system scroll down a little bit and here you may see recovery click on it here you have option go back to windows 10 if you update from windows 10 to windows 11 you have only 10 days and after that you will not have option to go back to windows 10 by using this option so let's go back to windows 10 click next no thanks. Next. Next. And the last option, go back to Windows 10. Probably we see Windows 11 logo last time. And right now we will go back to Windows 10. 
So guys, actually you already know which result you can get if you install Windows 11 on such unsupported laptop. Probably you can get much better or much worse result. It all depends on your device. So guys, if this video was useful for you, please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It will help me a lot. Also, on my channel you can watch a lot of interesting videos and I will be glad if you watch all of them. Goodbye everyone, see you soon.